Let's talk about the origin of the virus. I mean, I've been you know, really lucky to have you know, 20 or 30 of the top doctors, scientists, Kennedys, Nobel Prize winners, generals to talk about this. I've heard lots of theories, uh, lots of them, from the fact that it was in a lab in North Carolina shipped off to a Wuhan lab, from things that doc Dr. Zach Bush has talked about, similar to you, that the environment was so taxed in Wuhan that we would expect it to show up in a place like that. And, and I've heard everything in between as far as the origin of this. You know, what do you see as the origin of this and how do you explain it to the layman? Well, first, what we really need to do is to make sure um, is to stop speculating what the origin uh, and what we need to be doing right now with uh, Chinese scientific counterparts is in a, an open and transparent way, really drilling down, going back and looking thoughtfully, carefully at the evidence and let that evidence drive our final conclusion. So there's lots of speculations out there. I have to say most of those speculations are politically tinged. Um, they're more about to make a political point than a, um, a public health point. So let's use the moment now as things have begun quieting down in China and make sure we do due diligence to really document with evidence what the origin is. So I don't think there's a need to speculate whether it's laboratory-based, uh, man-made, manipulated. Um, we can find out that answer. There's lots of evidence out there that right now tells us very clearly that first off, it was not a biologically engineered, um, laboratory biologically engineered virus. It's a natural virus. Um, and there's nothing, again, to indicate that it uh, was an escape virus from a laboratory. What we do know is that its emergence was very, very, very consistent with what we've seen to be a steady stream of emergence of any number of viruses over the years. That is a virus in a wildlife animal, a bat, that is, um, becomes proximal, close to a human, uh, or to an animal, another animal that will become close to a human. And the natural dynamics of spillover, um, those we've documented, we see, they happen multiple times a year. This is not an unusual event. Uh, its ability to sustain human-human transmission and to cause serious illness, that is unusual. But seeing spillover events over and over and over again in China, across Southeast Asia, in South Asia, in Africa, in the Americas, that's a very normal, um, predictable uh, event. So uh, the weight of experience would say what we see uh, with this virus is absolutely consistent with what we've seen and continue to see um, with spillover events involving natural um, dynamics, not man-made or enhanced.